Manafort also twice met Kalimnik in the United States during the campaign period and conveyed campaign information. The second meeting took place on August 22, 2016, in New York City. Kalimnik requested the meeting to deliver in person a message from former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych, who was then living in Russia. The message was about a peace plan for the Ukraine that Manafort has since acknowledged was a, quote, backdoor means for Russia to control eastern Ukraine. Several months later, after the presidential election, Kalimnik wrote an email to Manafort expressing the view, which Manafort later said he shared, that the planned success would require U.S. support to succeed. Quote, all that is required to start the process is a very minor wink or slight push from Donald Trump. The email also stated that if Manafort were designated as the U.S. representative and started the process, Yanukovych would ensure his reception in Russia, quote, at the very top level. Manafort communicated with Kalimnik about peace plans for Ukraine on at least four occasions after the first discussion of the topic on August 2nd. December 2016, the Kalimnik email described above, January 2017, February 2017, and again in the spring of 2018. The office reviewed numerous Manafort email and text communications and asked President Trump about the plan in written questions. The investigation did not uncover evidence of Manafort's passing along information about Ukrainian peace plans to the candidate or anyone else in the campaign or the administration. The office was not, however, able to gain access to all of Manafort's electronic communications. In some instances, messages were sent using encryption applications. And while Manafort de denied that he spoke to members of the Trump campaign or the new administration about the peace plan, he lied to the office and the grand jury about peace plan and his meetings with Kalimnik. And his unreliability on this subject was among the reasons that the district judge found that he breached his cooperation agreement. The office could not reliably determine Manafort's purpose in sharing internal polling data with Kalimnik during the campaign period. Manafort, and here the text is redacted, did not see a downside to sharing campaign information and told Gates that his role in the campaign would be, quote, good for business and potentially a way to be made whole for work he previously completed in the Ukraine. As to Deripaska, Manafort claimed that by sharing campaign information with him, Deripaska might see value in the relationship and resolve a, quote, disagreement a reference to one or more outstanding lawsuits. Because of questions about Manafort's credibility and our limited ability to gather evidence on what happened to the polling data after it was sent to Kalimnik, the office could not assess what Kalimnik or others he may have given it to did with it. The office did not identify evidence of a connection between Manafort's sharing polling data and Russia's interference in the election, which had already been reported by U.S. media outlets at the time of the August 2nd meeting. The investigation did not establish that Manafort otherwise coordinated with the Russian government on its election interference efforts. A. Paul Manafort's ties to Russia and Ukraine. Manafort's Russian contacts during the campaign and transition periods stem from his consulting work for Deripaska from approximately 2005 to 2009 and his separate political consulting work in Ukraine from 2005 to 2015, including through his company DMP International LLC DMI. Kalimnik worked for Manafort in Kiev during this entire period and continued to communicate with Manafort through at least June 2018. Kalimnik, who speaks and writes Ukrainian and Russian, 
facilitated many of Manafort's communications with Deripaska and Ukrainian oligarchs. 1. Oleg Deripaska Consulting Work In approximately 2005, Manafort began working for Deripaska, a Russian oligarch who has a global empire involving aluminum and power companies and who is closely aligned with Vladimir Putin. A memorandum describing work that Manafort performed for Deripaska in 2005 regarding the post-Soviet republics referenced the need to, to brief the Kremlin and the benefits that the work could confer on, quote, the Putin government. Gates described the work Manafort did for Deripaska as, quote, political risk insurance and explained that Deripaska used Manafort to install friendly political officials in countries where Deripaska had business interests. Manafort's company earned tens of millions of dollars from its work for Deripaska and was loaned millions of dollars by Deripaska as well. In 2007, Deripaska invested through another entity in Pericles Emerging Market Partners LP, Pericles, an investment fund created by Manafort and former Manafort business partner Richard Davis. The Pericles Fund was established to pursue investments in Eastern Europe. Deripaska was the sole investor. Gates stated in interviews with the office that the venture led to a deterioration of the relationship between Manafort and Deripaska. In particular, when the fund failed, litigation between Manafort and Deripaska ensued. Gates stated that by 2009, Manafort's business relationship with Deripaska had dried up. According to Gates, various interactions with Deripaska and his intermediaries over the past few years have involved trying to resolve the legal dispute. As described below, in 2016, Manafort, Gates, Kalimnik, and others engaged in efforts to revive the Deripaska relationship and resolve the litigation. Two, political consulting work. Through Deripaska, Manafort was introduced to Renat Akhmedov, a Ukrainian oligarch who hired Manafort as a political consultant. In 2005, Akhmedov hired Manafort to engage in political work supporting the Party of Regions a political party in Ukraine that was generally understood to align with Russia. Manafort assisted the party of regions in regaining power, and its candidate, Viktor Yanukovych, won the presidency in 2010. Manafort became a close and trusted political advisor to Yanukovych during his time as president of Ukraine. Yanukovych served in that role until 2014 when he fled to Russia amidst popular protests. Three, Konstantin Kalimnik. Kalimnik is a Russian national who has lived in both Russia and Ukraine and was a longtime Manafort employee. Kalimnik had direct and close access to Yanukovych and his senior entourage, and he facilitated communications between Manafort and his clients including Yanukovych and multiple Ukrainian oligarchs. Kalimnik also maintained a relationship with Deripaska's deputy, Viktor Boyarkin, a Russian national who previously served in the defense attache office of the Russian embassy to the United States.